uh, welcome back to our channel myaslimhelp.in uh, in this video we will look about the uh, sap uh, factory calendar uh, this is done through the transaction sql uh, especially we will focus on the public holiday definition you know uh, the factory calendar uh, will be cutting across all modules it is more important for us to understand about this okay so i will run through you about the uh, step by step how this has to be defined so today we will talk about the public holidays uh, before that we will uh, look into uh, how we can understand it in general okay you know, the factical is one of the prime configuration uh, it is used across all the modules right you create a factory calendar then you attach to a plant uh, you create a factory calendar you attach to a shipping point you attach you create a factory calendar you even attach to some customer master uh, in uh, in production planning you attach into work center so in multiple places that is being defined okay so uh, this is uh, this cuts across many modules so this is very important even in hr also this is being used okay uh, so in the uh, in the fact the factory calendar creation has three things uh, yes we have seen it it has a public holiday uh, then it has a public holiday it has a holiday calendar and the factory calendar so it goes in a sequence okay if you see as i have said first we have to create the public holiday then attach it to a holiday calendar then we will be creating the factory calendar okay in most of the cases okay the factory calendar will be created directly in the system by opening the client this is a uh, you cannot uh, uh create it without opening the client okay and it is not done through the transport request okay and many times what <coughs> what happens is uh when you create a transport it is possible to create through a transport request also but what happens when you create through a transport request it copies the complete table okay if you see in other things and all you can see it will be copying only the changes that you have made okay but here it co it copies a complete table the complete uh, repository and moves from one client to another client so imagine if five people are working in one project uh, and then they have made some changes for testing in your golden client you will not know all those things right for that reason they have managed uh, i mean for that reason to avoid that issues generally people follow that but then there are also some clients who does it in a very controlled fashion so that also we will be uh, that is also being practiced okay. the first step we will look about the defining the public holiday so public holiday there are five ways we can do this through fixed days fixed day reference to easter easter sunday and floating actually if you see this is the uh, five days so one is the fixed day another one is uh, fixed dates okay and fixed day reference to easter easter sunday and routing uh, now we will see in the system how this is being done okay. uh, transaction SEAL for us to uh, reach the uh, sap calendar configuration then here there is a public holidays then you click the change mode then you will come to know about all the list of public holidays there when you want to create something then you click hit the create with fixed date from a date fixed the day from a date so if i put it a fixed date then you can say that always let us say that uh, new year right so uh, first month first day of uh, the first month is always called as a new year okay so we can create it so we should create a short text for it so i just create a uh, then I create a start set zero one underscore new year. Okay. Or I can just type it as new year. So here the importance is it comes with a fixed day. You can see here fixed dates. That is first day of the month is uh, first day, first month we always celebrate it as new year. Let us say 25th is always Christmas right here it is fixed it doesn't changes with any relevance this is called as the uh, fixed dates okay so this is one type of it to day from a date okay so if you go to the configuration of this you can see uh, there's a day let's say uh, second uh, tuesday okay every every uh, you know uh, second day of the uh, 
second month okay so whichever the first tuesday comes from this then that will be defined for the fixed weekdays okay so this has a reference uh, with the date okay so that is why this is used like this so this is one type of public holiday we can define third one is like distance to easter okay keeping the reference as a easter like before how many days of the easter before how many days after easter based on that also it will be able to declare it okay so let's say after five days of easter so whatever that configuration you do for easter based on that it this new will be dynamically calculated this let's say this this month this year this comes on 20th so after five days of 20th you want this particular holiday to come then this will be used okay. the next one is the easter sunday uh, easter sunday is by default calculated in the system okay so only thing is we need to if you wanted to bring create your own thing then uh, we can create it some uh, for your purpose i put it easter day okay then i just sorry mr to do, do that one so this will help us to create the uh, through easter day next one will be the uh, so floating public holidays so here we can define for different month let's say 20 uh, sorry 12th month 26th i have to have a holiday and in 2025 i have this on 24th okay so one it, it is a same holiday because it we will be having only one text for this the same holiday comes in different period in different month then this is being used you we saw about the uh, public holiday definitions uh, different types of public holiday definitions this uh, we will see the next set of uh, how do we de do the holiday calendar factory calendar in the subsequent videos okay leave your comments and if you have any questions also leave it thanks for watching